see Wimbledon in the fourth qualifying round this afternoon in front of a crowd of almost 5,000. At stake in the West Country, a place in the world's greatest cup competition and the perfect chance for the supporters of AFC Wimbledon to show their true colours. My granddad captained them from 51 to 59. And were you at the cup final when they won? 88, I was there, in the town all afterwards, giving it plenty. Great. We brought down five coaches today, so it's, uh, we reckon we're bringing about a thousand uh, fans plus. Extremely confident. Yep, 2-1. That's a fantastic day for everybody concerned. I mean, when the draw came out, I think this was the one club that everybody wanted. It's a, it's a game, you know, with two clubs, both owned by the supporters. Wimbledon were founded by theirs. Exeter City was saved by theirs three years ago. And it's, it's, you can see it already, but fantastic day. 5,000 in the stadium. Um, everybody's really looking forward to it. Predictably, it was the conference side who struck first with Andy Taylor in just the right place. And when John Challoner hit a spectacular dipping lob just before the break, the tie seemed to be going very much to form. But the Ryman League side, two rungs below their opponents, came out fighting in the second half, with the same Roscoe catching the extra defence completely flat-footed. And the home side had some anxious moments before securing that place in the first round draw. Number five, Exeter City. Yeah! Yeah! Number 40. 4-0, our Stockport County. Yeah! We've got a tie we can win, but the most important game is the next game, and that's Stockport County in a fortnight's time. So um, you can't dream of the next round you're in it, um, and uh, we, you know, we, we're going to be thorough about our preparation now for, for Stockport County and, uh, and hope we can beat them, and we can beat them if, 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 uh, if we have a good day. No cup dream this season then for these particular dons, but their time will surely come. Pete Barclough, Sky Sports.